Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Van Sangen from Techno Buffalo, and this is the LG Watcher Bane rocking the latest Android Wear 1.3 update, which is based off of Android 5.1.1. Android Wear's main focus is to keep users in a loop with information at a glance, and Google is trying to extend this concept through interactive watch faces, which makes it easier than ever to stay connected right from your wrist. The update comes with a new pre-installed watch face called Together, which lets you and another person stay close throughout the day by turning the entire watch face into a space for sharing. For example, if I link up with a friend through the Together watch face, we'll be able to send photos, emoji, and more with just a tap of a button. It's very similar to the Apple Watch, which allows users to send heartbeats and doodles to other Apple Watch users. As part of the Android Wear update, there are a ton of third-party watch faces that take advantage of the interactive concept, and they're all available through the Google Play Store. A few of the bigger examples include Bits and Under Armour, which have complications for things like the weather, your agenda, unread emails, or how many steps you've taken and how many calories you've burned, all right from your watch face. With Bits, you'll be able to see a ton of information at a glance such as your events, battery life, and weather. Tapping on each individual icon will bring up more information about that specific complication. With the weather, tapping on icon will bring up the current temperature and the weather a couple hours from now. Tapping on the battery will show you how much juice you have left on your watch, and tapping on a steps complication will show you how many steps you've taken. With the Under Armour watch face, you'll be able to see how many steps you've taken, how many calories you've burned, and how many miles you've walked. It's a convenient way to track your progress without having to jump into an app like Google Fit. Unfortunately, you won't be able to customize this watch face, but it still provides a lot of great information at a glance. What's cool is that users have complete control over what complication shows up in a watch face that supports the new interactive functionality, allowing you to make your experience as information rich or as minimal as you want. For bits, if all you want is weather and your agenda, just click those options and you'll see them on your watch face along with the time. You can also change the setting for each individual complication, tailoring it exactly how you want. Alongside the big update to watch faces, Android Wear has also been given support for Google Translate. The app makes it super easy for two people who speak different languages to converse with one another. If I'm abroad and I want to find the nearest Starbucks, I can simply ask a local, where's the nearest Starbucks, and it'll translate what I asked right from my wrist. After it's done translating, I can simply turn my wrist towards the other person and show them the translated text. As of right now, Translate's conversation feature supports 44 languages, but Google says more are on the way. The app also requires an internet connection to work properly, so keep that in mind. Lastly, if you own an LG G Watch R, this new update will finally enable Wi-Fi capability, which was left out in the previous 5.1.1 update. And that's about it. If you want to see more of Android Wear in action, make sure to check this video out over here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.